Okay, welcome. So I'm going to start making some short videos talking about different topics around just to give you an all round view of different things, just talking, okay, not showing anything specifically here. Okay, so the first martial art I learned was karate when I was 12. I don't know what style of karate it was, but my mother took me to learn a style of karate or karate, whatever, okay, however you pronounce that, it's karate, but Japanese or Okinawan origins martial art, okay? I'm inspired by the um, uh, Chinese arts, you know, but it was, uh, it was, it's just translated as empty hand, okay? Kung Shou Dao in Mandarin Chinese, okay, karate. I started learning when I was young, I learned, I learned from a teacher who, whose name was Basil Fraser, and um, we learned in the back of a library, at the back of a library, it was in this empty room, and the reason I was taken there is because I wasn't a sporty kid when I was young. I was like bullied when I was in school and stuff, you know. And my mother took me to learn karate and she thought it would like build me up. She didn't really believe or know, I don't think, uh, as much about the details of karate. However, in saying that, I think my mum did have a brother, a couple of brothers. Like One was good at nunchucks or something. She said nunchuck, nunchaku, the nunchaku, okay, that's basically... Um, Shuang Jie Gun, basically, in Mandarin Chinese, okay? Made famous by Bruce Lee, obviously. <laughs> I mean, it's an ancient martial arts weapon, really, okay? It's, been, it's not just used for, like, spinning around and stuff. It is actually, it's got various, very useful techniques and stuff. And a good friend of mine called um, Dwayne Gene Emsley, his name is Hyde Dwayne Demsley, is actually um, a good teacher of the, the art. He can teach you a lot of stuff. He actually has, um, he's certified to teach people. I believe in the arts, okay, and how to actually use it and fight with it. It's a great art. It's a great uh, skill. But yeah, um, let's get back to what I was saying. Right? Um, my mother, um, she, you know, apparently she had a brother, another brother, I think, who, who was, I'm not too sure, it may be the same one, who was actually a black belt in karate. I don't know what, uh, please excuse me, sorry. Um, I don't know, um, I don't know um, which style of karate that was. Um, she also did have um, another brother, I believe, who was good at boxing. He was a boxer, if I'm not mistaken. But let's just get back to the, the subject. So my mother took me to learn um, karate because she thought I could maybe get out of the house, make more friends and stuff. At that time, I, I may have heard the name Bruce Lee around the house. My, my dad knew about him, but I wasn't really like a fan of martial art films or anything. I didn't know anything about it. I was young. I was watching cartoons and stuff growing up, obviously. Um, but I wasn't like really into, I didn't really know anything about Eastern martial arts or anything like that, you know. Now, my mother uh, took me to learn karate. I was very intimidated when I was outside the library and I saw all those other other kids standing there waiting to go into the class. Some of them had their fancy the belts on, you know, and the geese, the traditional karate outfit suits. There were some boys, there was one boy I remember, a little boy who was looking at me, kind of intimidating looking, but he had... Um, a red belt, and I thought the red belt looked so cool, you know. Anyway, um, yeah, I went in and I learned, and I learned for three years. I, I, I learned karate, and it helped me. Um, you know, the teacher was very disciplined. He would teach us and use Jap Japanese terminology. And we had to remember all this terminology of the different words, you know, and the the um the drills. We do certain drills together in partners, and we do certain drills. Just alone, we'd have like cutters. Cutters are basically forms or patterns, they're called. Um, Tao Lu in, in Chinese, but it's basically forms uh, like where it's a sequence of moves. There are cutters where you train with multiple people, but what we learned mainly was forms. And a lot of traditional martial arts have forms. You'll find them in so many martial arts. I mean, in so many different kinds of martial arts, be they Chinese, Japanese, Korean, or different arts, where you're training and you're doing movements on imaginary people. Oftentimes, the moves are kind of, you could say, exaggerated or stylized, but there are there is you know reality to the way they're done. It's an exercise of focus where you're training to learn about your awareness of all angles and your coordination and movement to practice a sequence or a collection of movements in sequence. Okay, with like striking and defending and blocking and moving and stuff. Um, there's all kinds of forms, you know, in the martial arts. Um, there are other forms, obviously, which use weapons and stuff too. But we wasn't using any weapons at that time. 
when I was learning. So I, I learned various ones. I can't remember them to this day, various cutters. I know certain bits. All of the martial arts that I've learned growing up has like just stayed within, within me in my muscle memory, it's called. And um, I know it, you know, but in terms of the, the actual ones we had to learn then, the actual patterns, I can't remember all of them, you know. But, uh, um, but it, it was great training. I was kind of intimidated by some of the other like kids there. Another kid from my school went there along with me. And then I started to watch things like them because I was I like Street Fighter, the game, computer game series, Street Fighter, you know, Street Fighter 2. So I watched this uh, manga movie, anime, uh, Japanese movie, you know, cartoon, uh, Street Fighter. I was watching that. I thought that was cool. But there still wasn't a link, you know. I wasn't, at that time, I wasn't really into, like, movies as much, like, anything. Like, be it Jackie, Ch Jackie Chan, Jet Li, Van Damme, none of that stuff. I wasn't... I still hadn't seen that. I was very young at the time. I was learning this thing called karate, but I didn't know much about it. I knew it was supposed to, supposed to be fighting and stuff, but I didn't really have it in me. I was such a quiet kid because I was bullied in school and stuff. But the karate training ended up to be a good base, and I continued to learn more karate, kind of like doing my own studies and stuff as I got older. But the thing was, karate was a good base in terms of coordination. I learned a lot of coordination of how to move, punch, kick, step, block and turn and move and it was focus. Also, the teacher was good because he was strict, but he was good you know, for kids as a class because um, I remember a couple of times when he told me off for like, laughing, giggling or looking around and talking and uh, laughing at and times when I was like going to fart and stuff in the silent room and there was reasons I would, certain things I would laugh at or the key eye, like they do this key eye where the people shout out loud when they do the moves to like emphasize power and stuff and spirit but I'd never heard that before so I'd laugh at certain things and I was kind of like a nervous timid little kid anyway as such but sometimes the teacher would tell me or any naughty kids to go and sit in the corner you know and face the wall and I was not even allowed to train sometimes so it was like discipline and you know what? It taught me a lot, you know. So I'm really grateful to the years I had learning karate, and that was my introduction to actually learning any martial arts. And I did think the geese looked cool, you know, the outfits too. Okay, thank you very much. In the next video, I will talk about my kickboxing background.